Every real cowboy like myself knows how lonely it is out on the open range, which is why I listen to the Cowboy Boys Podcast. With best contractually obligated friends, Shane Smith and Mac Arthur, the Cowboy Boys will comfort your soul better than any disease-ridden salute gal ever could. Cowboy Boys. Do we sound good with our... <laughs> I was waiting to see the With first. our brand new... Cords. $3,000... Setup. Microphone cords. Can I'm you pretty, hear? I'm pretty pumped on them, actually. Can you hear how crisp my P's are? Yeah. My T's and P's. Because most people in the podcasting, they, they, <laughs> they, they put P filters. That's not how... That's what the... I don't know. That's the, apparently, P's and T's are really harsh on the ears. They make plosions. But I want, I want my voice to come through naturally. Mm. I want you to. I want to be inside your ear, like I don't. Know, I don't know. You want an ASMR? Sure. Uh, welcome to Cowboy Boys episode. What is it? Sixty three. Sure. Or is it, no sixty four? One of those. We're on the way to sixty nine. You keep saying that. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. <laughs> um, what You're what so... happens at 69? I don't know. I'm no, freestyling. I was going to say, <laughs> why Why do you like Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. They're fine. They're, no, they're a little catchy. They're not. They really are. Nickelback. You couldn't. Nickelback is the epitome of just top of the bell curve boring ass safe rock <laughs> they're really not yeah they are why are they safe that all their songs are their songs are like not relatable half the time what do you mean they're not relatable what well, what's one of their hit songs that you think is not re- that you think is safe the song about i mean isn't photograph about your significant other dying and then you, yeah i'm everyone's dealt that's with that. country music <laughs> i know and country sucks <laughs> okay the I, only good country is outlaw country no that's not true yes what so dolly parton yeah she's outlaw no she's not <laughs> yes she is okay now you're just making things up i'm not making anything up i'm you're on trial right now for, for liking for liking Nickelback. I don't and love also, Nickelback or anything. I just don't despise and them. Also, for your earlier comments, defending Creed. <laughs> I will defend Creed to the death. Creed is Creed is good. I said Creed is just as cringe as Nickelback the other day, and you're like, no, neither of them. <laughs> I, I don't listen. Everyone's like, oh, I hate them, Ugh, and it's like, all right, no, no. cool opinion you f- definitely formed on your own there. <laughs> you, you know what? Sometimes everyone's right <laughs> also everyone's wrong for that listens to nickelback <laughs> what well, creed has a really good music video yeah, you know yeah. they I do. do that song sucks so bad uh i posted it on my twitter and uh instagram it's called creed bullets it gets me hyped dude the video or the music <laughs> yes <laughs> no the music yes. sucks i started reading <laughs> i was reading an interview about it and they're like scott staff was like because it, even at the time, everyone was like, Creed fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. I, this is 2001 when this video and interview came out. And they're like, so for those of you who are not currently watching the video as you listen to our podcast, you really should. <laughs> they, they go, they'll compliment each other. Uh, it's like a 3D animated video where Scott Stapp is like an, I think he's a self described archangel. And I, you know what all those like BDSM ninja zombies are? What? Those represent the critics of their music. Whoa! <laughs> and, and the bullets they shoot, the monsters. Oh, so now you're on the side of critics. Yeah. Sometimes critics are right. Oh, my God. I criticize God. everything. You, here's your thing, is that you have no consistency or loyalty you just i don't you just <laughs> you're not even a sith you're the trade you're the fucking fish bitch alien from the trade federation that's just like oh no what do we do now whoa, whoa, whoa. what voice are you doing do no that's a fish <laughs> voice that's a fish voice and you know it is I, I, I guess they kind of did want them to be asian huh dude george lucas dude why did george <laughs> lucas assign he a regular like he's just like here's a jewish character 
here's a fucking um a Wait, Chinese alien. Who's the Jewish character you in Star know, Wars? Firstly, Jamaicans oh, and yeah, Jewish yeah. people got did so dirty in oh, yeah, Star I Wars. Forgot. Watto. <laughs> yes. <in episode laughs> Watto. They, you know what? Speaking of other cool 3D technology from 2000s, <laughs> the, the prequels do not age well. No, of course. They didn't age well, but that makes them better. Do you know George Lucas isn't racist? No, of course not. His wife is black. Well, also, he bankrolled his own movie to make Red Tails and cast it with an all-black cast on purpose. Tried to make sure there were no major white roles in the movie so that it would showcase black talent. Purposefully wanted to tell <laughs> black war heroes stories and like did all this other stuff. And he was like, I'm the first major AAA production to ever do an all-black cast. And yeah. everyone, And everyone kind of was like, what? that's not real and they looked into it and they're like wow george lucas is the first guy to do this <laughs> and he like put a bunch of his own money into it and then it bombed why did it bomb i don't know <laughs> I, I i i remember seeing advertisements for it a lot of people that was like the first movie after star wars that it, he did right yeah it didn't bomb because of racism i think what happened was george lucas did the prequels and then everyone was like we're not gonna see this movie george like it didn't it also didn't have a great advertising budget. I saw it in theater and it wasn't good. And you know oh. me, I, I'm a big like a World Everything's War II good guy. Deal. Yeah, yeah. And and the Tuskegee Airmen is like a really cool story. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna watch fucking badass Americans dog fighting, blowing up Germans, fucking Italian women. Like I'm ready. And okay. it was no, it was kind of not really those things. Why why wasn't it good? It just was badly done. It's such a crazy story, too, because there are these black fighter pilots that they weren't even going to allow to fly. And then one of them ends up being the first American, one of the only people to shoot down a jet inside of a prop plane. All right. Yeah, so he downs a German jet while he's flying his prop plane. No, but plane. my question is, what's bad with the movie? Oh, it's not good. Like, are the it's, characters bad? Is just the story, imagine if just... World War One was was the prequels of Star Wars, <laughs> like or World War Two. He just does it so bad, and it's just like the direction's weird. The, did he write and direct? It I think he might have everything, dude. He might have. That's the problem with the prequels is he did like everything because the original Star Wars is. He, like, directed them, but they had other people like, okay, we are going to edit this, and we're going to write a lot of it. <laughs> like, here's here's what happens. George Lucas is really good at world building, terrible at everything else. <laughs> you terrible. But, but you can't let him tell the story. Like, pod racing and how he, like, put all that together and shit, fucking awesome. In, in spawned one of the best video games of all time. Dude, I remember, like... That was the only good part of the first <laughs> episode one was the pod no, racing. No, the, the Darth Maul was tight as fuck. Everything with Darth Maul was cool. All right. Um, e but yeah, they did fuck up even the last battle between the Gungans and the droids where Jar Jar Binks is just failing and killing all the droids and you're just like, this is fucking terrible. So, uh, <laughs> Red Tails, not good? Don't watch it? I mean, go watch it if you want. I, it's too late now. I don't think if you watch it, it doesn't support anything. But the idea behind it was really cool. Also, that he wanted to like... I said George Lucas isn't racist, but maybe he's racist against like Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, okay. Uh, or, <laughs> that's why he gave those fish people the stereotypical... Uh, what is what is that you, voice? You know, you could be racist and be married to a black woman. You know, you can be racist to uh, one different race and racist to a specifically other different race. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's so, that's classic racism. That's what it's, <laughs> that's racism classic. <laughs> and that's the thing is like people <laughs> think of like racist and they're like they only like themselves, but it's also like they could li they only hate one one's particular type of people. Goddamn Australians. <laughs> they make me so mad. Racists also like don't even have to dislike your race all the time. They can just dislike... They can be racist when it suits them. Yeah, I've had that where people are like, you're that, one of the good ones. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> that's like when the KKK like still watches basketball. They're like, well, we like these guys. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. Fine, I guess. Racism is nuanced. <laughs> Dude, it, if you think it really is, it's so fucked up. If you think racists weren't rooting for the dream team in the Olympics, <laughs> you 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 got another thing coming. <laughs> they were definitely not rooting for Spain. <laughs> like no one was. Just Jordan and all those guys fucking dunking on Dude. everybody. 
uh, you were telling me that speaking of races uh you're telling me jews really love basketball yes they do <laughs> orthodox a, jews especially you had a good theory behind it why <laughs> why, why jewish people why jewish people and black people like just love basketball so i have had the we i have had the weird opportunity in my life to be friends with lots of very religious mormons and very religious jews and just very religious people in general you know what you know what mormons also love basketball i know here's a fun (laughs) thing about mormon churches every single one every single church has a basketball court i've played in a full church ball league yeah and church ball is a thing yeah it's a big deal there's a movie about it there, well, gary coleman's in it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck we should watch church ball there's i think like wilford brimley's also a, it's a, a wreck of a mormon <laughs> movie remember when mormon movies were big for yeah like, uh, well because we were in utah i mean <laughs> So, anyways, Mormons, Jews, who else loves basketball? Black people. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that, not racist. This is, we're talking about. They just that's that's it. It's very. It's the the American because everyone else know. is like into baseball. The Japanese, uh, Latinos. Well, the rest of the world just likes soccer. Well, and they like cricket too. Cricket's like one of the most played games in the world. Really? Yes. Have you, you watched, all of India plays cricket? Have you tried to like sit and understand cricket? I play I know, cricket. I know how I know how to play. Tell me that it sucks. <laughs> it's actually really fun. No. It's legitimately fun. I'm not kidding. So let me let me try and figure out what I know about cricket. <laughs> okay. There's two pitchers, right? Yes, bowlers. <laughs> and so you're like a pitcher and a catcher standing mm-hmm. opposite and they, it is like bowling cuz you got your pins. Mm-hmm. And so you take turns, each team has one batter. Yes, and so you got the one guy tries to. Well, you have not, outs like in baseball. Hey, I'm trying to tell you uh, how. It oh, works. yeah, no, you tell me. And yeah, so, sorry, I won't. So the pitcher tries to knock over your pins, but the the batter has to wear his stupid flat bat and helmet and only knee pads for some reason. That's the only protection. <laughs> he has to whack the ball away from his pins, and then go touch something and run back before. One of the outfielders tries to also hit the pins when they catch the cricket ball. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And then yeah, you take you turns. It. You nailed it. Damn, cricket sucks. Cricket is if baseball was played in the middle of the field instead of the back, so there's no foul balls. That doesn't make it better. Baseball is... No, it does. I like baseball more, but I'm just saying cricket is fun. I I think if I was playing cricket with people who are serious about cricket, it would be lame, but I played with some guys (laughs) who were like, you just want to learn how to play? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I went and I played like a... Uh, you know, like a full two and a half hour so, game or whatever. So, anyways, let's get back to Jews and basketball. Okay, so here's the thing. So wait, I don't know anything about Jews and basketball. I know Mormons. I know Black people. Orthodox Jews love it, and I my theory is because I've spent a lot of time with Orthodox, very religious Jews, is because Jewish people see themselves the way Black people <laughs> are. <laughs> you know how Black people are cool as fuck, and yeah, everything yeah. they do is like the Black culture informs the rest of the world. Well, well, Jew, the, well Jew, black culture informs Americans, and Americans inform the rest of the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so Jewish people, especially like Orthodox Jewish people, think they're super <laughs> cool because they have no self awareness. That's one of our weaknesses. <laughs> and they, do you, do you think it's also like we were we were oppressed? We were yeah, buddies. I think like, so. Like I, we get you, black people. We get the slavery, and yeah. we were enslaved in Egypt. And people were like, "What?" That was, <laughs> I think there's also something about the way black people treat jewish people where they're just like damn (laughs) so you dress like that huh they're like yeah i do isn't it cool so they think that they're cool they think like we have stuff in common with them (laughs) we don't we really don't i couldn't think of two more often yeah (laughs) i know oh dude it's so funny you just met this orthodox guy used to know would wear a baseball cap instead of a keepa and he would like He'd be like, I'm one of the cool ones. I'm a cool guy. Like, Wait, what's a keepa? A keepa is a yarmulke. But why do you call it a keepa? It's just the word that more people use. Is that the cool Jew word? Because yarmulkes are so fucking yarmulke, nerdy. Yarmulke is a um, Yiddish word. I'm not Yiddish. Man, Jews are so lame. <laughs> I'm not like German. I'm Scandinavian. It's Scandinavian okay. people are specifically not German. All right. And, uh, so you call it a kippah for whatever <laughs> yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. It's the Hebrew word for you it. You know what? It means dome. I'm uh, 
you get <laughs> Keepa also. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mind getting ahead, everybody. <laughs> getting that Keepa. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, does one side of Jews bully the other side? Yeah. Is it the which one? Is it the Ashkenazi? Everyone, every, versus? Oh no! Every I was going to say everyone bullies the ultra orthodox, but no, and they I'm deserve about, it. What is it? Ashkenazi oh, and there's what? Ashkenazi and Sephardic. So Sephardic. Sephardic Jews look like you, and Ashkenazi Jews look like me. Mm. And then there's okay, wait, just wait, wait, like wait. that doesn't help. Which Jews look like Jews? <laughs> <laughs> the the so I was going to say that there's technically three types of Jews. There's Ashkenazi Jews, which is like me, which is like what's going on with you? And then there's Sephardic Jews, where you're like, are you Italian? And then there's like John Stewart, like guys, we I think there's you the, made an agreement with him. No, like there's John, landlord Jews. John Stewart isn't even that Jewy. Yeah, but I'm you know talking, what I, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking Larry Jew, David. Jew, Jew, I'm talking <laughs> yeah. Cohen Brother movie. Yeah, yeah. Those guys, I don't know what they're doing. That's like an American Jew, I think. Those are the real Jews. That's like the the stereotypical Jew. Now what about Israelis? <laughs> Israelis are mostly Sephardic right. in Russian, which is Ashkenazi. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to join up with them. <laughs> <laughs> Sephardic Jews do kind of weirdly stay separate in their own little culture, and they truly are like thin chain, tracksuit, like <laughs> olive skin. They're so weird. Like, yeah, they're a whole thing. Sephardic women are hot as fuck, though. That is true. So you know what Sephardic Jews are? They remind me of like if if florida <laughs> like they're just like they have like they're latinx jews <laughs> like they well, just remind Latin, me X. yeah what, what why did you say that i don't know you, you mean La, latina latino La, La, yeah like you know how latin what is latinx isn't that just like when you're latin but you're not uh south american are you using the like sjw term yeah latin? yeah yeah oh, okay that's so from what I've heard, I don't know if I use it right. I'll be no, real. I, I don't. I don't. From what I'm, from what I've heard in the Latino community is they don't use that. <laughs> like that's a white liberal. Oh term. yeah, yeah. Real <laughs> Latinos don't do. Real Latinos say the N word. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <that's what> <laughs> they don't give a fuck about your Latinx. Anytime I see people complaining about that shit, I'm like, I don't think you know any real Latinos. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. People who don't know that Mexicans are right wing, and you're just yeah. like, okay, <laughs> be cool. A lot of Hispanic people are <laughs> very, they're very un PC. Dude, the most un PC. Oh, uh, so, anyways, Jews in basketball. <laughs> yeah, so we, <laughs> it's really popular. I've never, I've played basketball with them, and I'm good. Are you? It, it, to, compared to them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, which is not a good sign because I don't play a lot of basketball. I would, I would love to see a bunch of Jews play basketball. I used to, so I used to go to the 24-hour fitness in Salt Lake City, the gay one. But at that gay 24-hour <laughs> fitness, during the day, there was like a basketball thing, all the Orthodox Jews. And since I spoke a little Hebrew, they were always like, come and play. Like They were all super stoked to have me. So I would play so, basketball with them sometimes. Did the Mormons meet up and play yeah. against them? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. That must have been... Dorky dads for days. <laughs> Just... So bad. That's where the real... Like, who does God love more Dude, comes out on the cards. It's not. Dude, it, here's the thing. God doesn't love either of us because <laughs> it would just be like it just, a 30-minute game ends 6 to 5 <laughs> or whatever. Like, come on. Damn. <laughs> just air ball after air ball. People missing layups. A lot of a lot of bounce passing. <laughs> What's wrong with the bounce pass? Nothing, <laughs> I guess. Oh. <laughs> just the least aggressive play you've ever seen. Oh. Dude, if you listen, if you listen to this podcast and you're like in New York, I know we have a lot of listeners in New York right now. If you're if you're a black guy and you're here in New York, move to Utah and just run that place. <laughs> like you'll be the king, dude. You can just go to any 24 hour fitness and just run. And now you're the king of that 24 hour dude. fitness. You can't be. They can't stop you. That is the thing. Utah isn't even racist. They they're like so dorky. They're and, ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. They're not. They don't have like the old 
learned racism of like the south or something like they're just like whoa a black guy yeah it's cool legit, it's any racism you encounter in utah is mostly if you're not in southern utah is mostly going to be like legitimate stupidity like, like dorky <laughs> like, yeah it, it, that actually might be worse <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe the I, can i touch your hair racism as opposed to like 100 percent. don't date my daughter <laughs> yeah yeah if you go to southern utah there are actual racists though Sure. The Dixie. There's so, why is it always the South? The I one, don't know. What is it about heat? <laughs> the heat makes you racist. Mm, the cold makes you. It's true. Cold weather people are so much more chill. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to move somewhere cold. Oh. I tried to fly us to Alaska. Did I tell you that? No. What do you mean? So <laughs> you're just gonna buy tickets? I went on a friend date with uh, this guy, this comic Matt Brassard. He hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I was like, "Hey, do you want to be friends?" And I was like, "Holy shit, ball or move?" Adult man just straight up asking to be friends. So I went out with him or whatever. I, I keep mean, saying could, it like it's a date. You could He's, do that to anyone. You could just go up to someone and be like, "Hey, I like you. You want to be friends?" And then you've made a friend. I know. I just, uh, well, it, it doesn't work on girls. I was going to say, <laughs> firstly, it doesn't work like that for but me. I bet but I you could go up to like any guy like in person and be like just start talking and be like, "You want to be friends?" <laughs> like, "All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah." So, we we hung out and he told me about this Alaska trip he did with his girlfriend. And um and, and by the way, I was <laughs> the whole time he's like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, enough about her. Did you shoot me? Did you have guns? Like <laughs> just asking all the man questions. But it sounded cool as fuck. And he like went on this prop plane and they took him to this village where he had no internet for like two and a half weeks or whatever. And so I was like, dude, can I get the information for your trip? Uh, and then I was just gonna be like, let's fly out to Alaska and fucking. Or I was going to go by myself and leave you. Whatever. Yeah, I was, was going to say, go I, I still have a job. You can get time off. <laughs> Maybe. But Not I was like. surprise me with a trip. <laughs> I was like, dude, I just want to go to Alaska. Go to a fucking Inuit village. Just no. I just want to hunt and do nothing. I don't even want to hunt. I'm just going to fucking be out in the wilderness, dude. In the cold, dying. With no internet. It sounds so good to me right now. Anyway, um, they close up shop. They only do it like during the summer. So, um, is that because Alaska is like impassable? In yeah, the yeah. They're like, if you go, like, well, they're just like, what are you going to do in the winter? Stay inside? And I'm kind of like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But you can stay inside here. Yeah, but I would be in Alaska in a blizzard. So just. Board up your windows with foam and close your door. And I'll pile up a bunch of. <laughs> I'll, I'll push the couch up against your thing, and you can pretend that you're trapped in a blizzard. I don't know. I just want to get away. <laughs> I'm just, I want to go to my anarcho primitivist roots. So go. I might. Then <laughs> you, you can't do anything out there, though. True. I might go rent. Well, maybe I'll rent a house for a month in Fillmore. And do a bunch of writing. I don't know what this do fantasy a, is. Do a bunch of writing. Well, I could just also rent a four wheeler the whole time or something and go explore, just shoot guns and drive around. Why be you, in the middle of nowhere where no one can talk to me. Why don't you go somewhere cool like Florida? <laughs> but no, because Florida is just regular shit. It's just like titties and and guns <laughs> and four wheelers. That's but that I and, mean I could do that here. What are those ski boats? Those. What are the prop prop boats? Propeller boat? What are they called? Hmm? The propeller boats. The oh, wind the wind boats that you ride the swamps in that you can hit alligators with and be <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know what they're called. The hover Dude, boats. No, hover boat is different. Okay. See, why don't you go there? Yeah, I don't want to. That's not. That's not secluded. Why I'm trying just, to seclude myself. Why don't you just go to Minnesota then? I don't know Minnesota. I it's could, though. It's just like Alaska. It's busy. No, Minnesota's full of people. <laughs> There's parts of Minnesota where it's probably empty. Yeah, but it's empty for like two miles. I'm ta- I want empty like I'm going to die if something goes wrong. Yeah, that's parts of Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's parts of New York. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I don't get the... Tell me what you really want. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to fucking get out and be in the wilderness a little. Why don't you go to the moon? 
God, that would be cool as fuck. <laughs> Surv- try and survive there, smartass. Be up there with all the gay astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. There's probably some straight ones. No, they go to the moon so they can fuck and no one will know what they're up oh, to. Oh, yeah, all the gay Nazis, of the secret Nazi That's base. That's why the Nazi base is up there. They're all fucking each other. That's why they haven't come back down. <laughs> they all fell in love. The moon is is peak gay destination. What were we watching where someone said that um nazis were like sneaking back into america or like the the space program something like that do you remember no we were watching it was a some, conspiracy movie it was some it was something maybe it was like a conspiracy video or something and we're like what do you mean yeah, yeah i don't <laughs> do, you, do you guys not know that nasa originally was nazis <laughs> yeah <laughs> operation paperclip after world war ii we're like hey we could either kill you or you could come work on rocket technology in America. And a bunch of Germans like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal. And that's how we won the space race. <laughs> yeah, that is funny that someone was like, they snuck in. It's like, they didn't sneak. We made them do it at gunpoint. Yeah. We literally were like, we'll I mean, fucking kill you. It probably wasn't gunpoint. They probably were like, hey, you didn't kill any Jews. No, we just built rockets to launch them into space. Well, that's... Okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, whatever. Get over here, you guys. Ah, you crazy (laughs) Nazis. Ah. Oh, man. Dude, I was reading about that one girl who was beheaded in Nazi Germany. (laughs) All right. So they... she Before, like, the Nazis went way wild when they first took power... And, like, they were kind of, like, Germany was, like, our country right now, where it was still kind of a dem- democracy. Oh, is that that, that one girl who she started was, speaking out? Yeah, she was uh, pamphleting at her college with her brother and a friend, and the the fucking janitor snitched on them, and Hitler went full mask off on this and, and uh, found out about the case and then had his favorite judge preside over it and the judge sentenced them to death and then Nazi Germany beheaded them, which is like, I don't, was that standard back then? Were they still beheading people back then? God damn. Um, isn't the sh- firing squad still like legal? In yeah, we U- in we Utah? firing squatted someone in 2019, I think. Yeah, in Utah. So I don't know. That seems kind of... Firing Squad makes sense, though. Honestly, Firing Squad makes so much more sense than the electric chair or lethal injection. Well, one, the electric chair is the coolest. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think we need to bring that back. No. Uh, it's the most metal of all the executions. Uh, it is pretty metal. I think that <laughs> the fucking firing, firing Squad's pretty metal. Well, that's the most hum- humane, next to maybe the guillotine. Yeah. I know uh, Nazis also used to, fr- or the Russians did it too, where they just freeze you to death. How? Like, they would put you in a room that was really cold and just leave you in there till you died. <laughs> that seems kind of nice. Yeah, sometimes it wouldn't work, and if it didn't work, there's a story about this like Russian political prisoner, and it didn't freeze him to death, and they're like, good for you, man, and they just let him go. <laughs> I was Damn. like, what? <laughs> they're like, technically, your sentence was served. Yeah. I was like, oh, damn. So what happened to this broad? Oh, she, yeah, she got sentenced, and they cut her head off, and they cut her brother's head off, and their friend's head off, and they threw the Nazi, the fucking janitor, a party. And then after the war, the janitor was like, I, I don't even, I'm not even really a Nazi. I just, it wasn't against, it was against school policy to hand out pamphlets, so <laughs> they got their heads cut off, and I guess I have to live with that now. Oh, fuck. And it was just like, dude, fucking don't snitch. <laughs> this is, is just the universal rule. Well, that's how... That's they, uh, how fascism wins. Is all the all the people who are uh, all fascists are in charge, and it relies on the people who are like, "Look, I, I, I know what the cops did is wrong, but I'm scared that someone might uh, steal my sign in my front yard or say something mean to me." So, cops should let uh, we should let cops kill people because my safety. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think they, I, I can't be 100% sure, but if someone wants to feel better about that story, I'm pretty sure at The Hague, the Russians were like, well, you got to die. <laughs> and they killed that guy, that janitor. So get that, fucked, bud. That doesn't make me feel better. And it would make me feel better <laughs> if they beheaded him. <laughs> no. Why not? Because it's just a bunch of dummies who got away with it <laughs> no you got to behead those people no, i'm talking about the nazis they didn't get away with it they died maybe 
I mean, not all of them. Yeah, <laughs> true. Right. Some of them were scientists later, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, the ones who would hate it the most all died, which is pretty cool. Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> the majority of them. <sighs> Your conspiracy, bro. I can see you wanting to say a conspiracy. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm too in the moment right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where... Our our nation is just like well, how are people defending cops, <laughs> dude? I don't know. It's Nazi shit. It's wild. And did you see that the cops had taser shields? Yeah, they got cool new taser shields, <laughs> Captain America. Yeah. So when you bump up against them, they shock you. You know, in a video That's game, cool. when you like get new loot and you're like, "Whoa, the shield shoots lightning!" <laughs> it's like the cops are getting loot drops. What the fuck, dude? Did they invent that new? I've I've never heard of it. I've heard of like taser swords. I've heard of taser brass knuckles. I remember yeah, once yeah. when back when I was fist fighting a lot, one of our friends who was smaller, his name is Guillermo, <laughs> he just showed up and he had like a fucking it was a Batman brass knuckles set that was also a full taser. So like it was brass knuckles and then he squeezes it and it was like That's pretty cool. And, yeah, and he fucking Batman tased a lot of people became like a running joke <laughs> he would Guillermo just, yeah dude Guillermo would fuck people up <laughs> he would too he would just come out of nowhere because he's very small so he's not in the front line <laughs> so you would start fighting and then all of a sudden he would be behind the guy and he would just be he's... Batman tasering them in the back of the head Damn. yeah dude he would fuck people up don't fuck with Guillermo he was serious <laughs> he's such a nice guy too Except for when he was tasering you with his Batman. By the way, I think he stole it. I wonder how he got it. <laughs> he beat a man who... If, look, if you, are you in a fight and you one person has the the Batman taser and you win that fight, that's a loot drop. You get, <laughs> <laughs> you, if you beat him, you get it. <laughs> oh, dude. He was wild. I remember once he, he had a... We were in Beto's chilling me and my brother and he came into like this mexican restaurant that we were in is for those of you who don't know betos is like the sketchiest mexican fast food humanly possible and therefore the tastiest it's not that sketchy dude it's so dirty in there all the time it's like if a food cart was a building it's so bad but it's so <laughs> that good that's a good reference <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> sometimes i did they they all start as food carts and they just evolve they're like we're settling down here and yeah not moving. it just becomes a building like they clearly just don't care and they just make their food it's really good food and we were standing there getting ready to eat and uh and guillermo comes in and then there's this dude in front of us this like bald dude and he just started hitting him with a bike chain and we okay. were like what the fuck because we didn't even know it was guillermo at first and then we realized it was and uh are you checking the time no, keep going. okay i was like are you gonna cut out the story about Kiro? No. anyway me and my brother were just like we didn't even know it was him and then he ran out and then we finished eating we were like Guillermo and then we realized like oh you're just hitting a guy with a bike chain and he was like yeah fucking guy was a Nazi (laughs) (laughs) that's a good reason cool okay (laughs) wild he was just up to his own he had the point of the story is that he had a whole other things going on that had nothing to do with us (laughs) like was he doing detective work like how did he know who is that guy look you I have enemies you don't know about (laughs) do you (laughs) yeah it was always funny when you have like really good friends and out of nowhere they have like another thing going on. I've been seeing this girl. You're like, how? <laughs> Where? I love the stuff. You Who's your know. enemy that I don't know about? Oh, I have plenty of enemies. I have enemies you don't know about for sure. Um, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I have comedy enemies. Oh yeah, who's your comedy enemy? I can't say. I'll have to wait to destroy them. I feel like you should start. Uh, you should start a beef with someone, even though just. Because you know me, whenever there is like online drama, I'm mm. always like, it's fake. It's manufactured. It's not real. They're all like when YouTubers feud, I'm like, they probably emailed each other last night. And they're like, look, our views are both down. If we start a fake feud, all that James Charles sleeping with uh, like NBA stars or whatever. It's all manufactured at that level. Okay. Yeah, so, I can see that. But then there's also like the iDubs where... 
you're like, oh yeah, this you this person did not like this. <laughs> like, yeah, he's not he's not at that high level. He's pretty high, but he's still underground. What? No, he's not. So anyways, he's one of the most popular YouTube stars. So, anyways, uh, I feel like it would really help your career right now if you got into a feud, oh, okay. a manufactured feud. And uh, if you're mm. listening, don't don't spill the beans. <laughs> <laughs> who do I? Who do we feud with? Uh, it'd have to be another comic. True. Um, w- would you want to fight a lady comic or a male comic? Probably uh, a male. male comic. Probably because people, people are babies about <laughs> when you fight ladies. <laughs> I'd call her. I'd call her a name. I'd make fun of her body, and everyone would get all mad at me. One hundred percent. It's so funny because I make fun of people's bodies all the time, which is like a part of comedy. Like body oh, shaming. I is, know. <laughs> like, come on, everybody. That's just silly. But if you get into every time I've ever like roasted, if you roast a woman and you sit, people are not pumped. If you. You could talk about their dead relatives. You can do anything. But as soon as you mention their body, people are like, whoa, you've done too much. That is weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, no, this is not as bad as the other thing I said. Like, I said her sister died and made yeah. fun of her. And you guys are cool with that. But then I say she has an eating disorder. And now everyone's freaking out. That's, that's my origin story. <laughs> when I, <laughs> when I made fun of that one girl. <laughs> so I got to make fun of a guy. Uh, my instinct, a Jewish, a Jewish guy. My instinct is to uh, to beef with Pete Davidson. That's a good one. It, uh, is he is he still doing stand up or is he like a Hollywood guy now? I don't know. I think he does stand up. That'd be a good one. I like that. We should manufacture a beef. How do I get him? Here's the thing. He's so much more famous than me. Start dating Ariana Grande. Okay, <laughs> I, I like think, the plan so far. I think you could do it. Oh, she's I don't want to uh, I don't know her clearly I've never met her but just from her tweets and when she got that tattoo the barbecue tattoo on her hand no barbecue tattoo she tattooed she tried to tattoo five rings on her hand in Chinese and it said little barbecue girl instead no, it didn't really <laughs> that's a real thing that happened yeah 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 <laughs> what <laughs> yeah she tried to get uh, she tried to get, and it was on her hand by the way which is a terrible spot to get tattooed yeah she tried to tattoo japanese no chinese no this is japanese oh okay sorry that? Um, yeah maybe it is japanese i thought it was chinese i i don't know i obviously haven't looked into this uh so yeah <laughs> ariana grande's critics fans alerted her that Whatever this Japanese does not signify seven rings as she intended. In Japanese, the characters translate to Shirin, a small barbecue girl. <laughs> <laughs> Which honestly, dude, she what? had it fixed instead of leaving it. But I was like, dude, if I made that mistake, leave it forever. It's so much better. It's a little barbecue girl. <laughs> little barbecue girl. Ariana Grande grill Ari- Ariana grill day. I don't know. <laughs> Ariana grill day. Pretty good. It's no. pretty good. No, you got it. Uh, I feel like we did it. Um, yeah, she so she got a little barbecue girl tattooed on her hand. Which now that I say it out loud, I'm like, maybe that's a bonus. I think I could get with her. Yeah? I'd be like, hey, how do we get her to notice us? My name's Mac too. Remember Mac Miller? I'm I'm just Mac. Arthur. <laughs> no one will notice. <laughs> It'll be cool. You kind of have the same head shapes. <laughs> no. No, you could fit two Mac Miller heads inside your head. Oh, every year on his death, people tweet RIP Mac. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I, uh, yeah. How would I even get you're, ariana you know grande to notice me you know i have to meet her i'm gonna go out on a limb i think your tattoos mm-hmm. your darth maul tattoos here yeah <laughs> they're as bad as barbecue no, girl i'm gonna say they're better than pete davidson's tattoos oh yeah 100 percent. pete davidson has some of the worst tattoos in the game <laughs> oh no <laughs> he has a mars attacks tattoo which i respect it's like huge on his chest yeah right? hell yeah it's dude act, act, motherfucker no it takes up way too much space <laughs> <laughs> it no sticks it's out. fine it doesn't look like any of his other... 
I feel bad for Pete now. Why? I mean, he's yes, he's rich and famous and doing better than me in a lot of ways. But also, I feel like I'm doing better than him in a lot of ways. The, <laughs> tattoo the wise, more, not even tattoo wise, but then just in terms of just like your uh, dad didn't die in 11 wise. No, my dad didn't die nine eleven. Though my childhood is still worse than his for okay. sure. <laughs> like he, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a. The, it sounds like you want to be friends with him, which is why it's perfect for you two. True, true. To start a fake celebrity beef. I don't think we would be good friends. I've met him twice, and both times I met him, he was zooted out of his fucking mind. <laughs> Too zooted. Yeah, he was so so out of it. The second time I so both times I met him, he was with Colson Baker or whatever, uh, Machine Gun Kelly. And Is the, that his real name? Yeah. What? And so the first time I met him, they were like, what's up, whatever, because I was like doing a show there with him also, and it was fine, and he smoked so many cigarettes indoors, and I was like, oh, it's so fucking gross. And like he had an entourage, and they had so much weed, and they all just like, have you ever just felt like, you know, <laughs> have you ever seen someone, and you're like, if I clapped you clapped you like an eraser a chalk eraser like dust would come out he just seemed dirty pete yeah oh <laughs> and i was just like uh it just reminded me of being in a trailer where someone's mom smokes isn't that like a post malone kind of thing too though everyone just kind of makes fun of how he <laughs> yeah yeah well, he's just like filthy almost it's it, but like he probably isn't but it's just the vibe you get when someone smokes and drinks how much anyway i'm talking mad shit right now but he's a sweet guy he was nice to me and everything then the second time i met him he was like he said he had the first time he met me he was like whoa your tattoos man's fucking your face is crazy and the second time i met him he said the same thing and the machine gun kelly was like you met this motherfucker like eight months ago and you said the same shit to him <laughs> and i was like it's all good dude it was yeah a, it i do was, that to tons of people <laughs> it was because of the park city thing they were like promoting a movie or whatever but it was just really awkward and i was like damn this dude is not present at all and he was doing his own shows he was headlining how can you be that fucked up and headline what are you talking about a lot of people are fucked up when they <laughs> perform dude i can't imagine a lot of people uh some a lot of comics like to be can only perform high yeah it's like a lot of rock stars too they can only they can only belt it out when they're drunk and high and on speed and heroin and <laughs> Dude, Ariana Grande is so famous that they, I had like met girls at Pete's show that were like going crazy because they're like, he had sex with her and now we're this close to him. And it's like, do you like his comedy? And they're like, comedy? Yeah, that's dude. <laughs> it's like, whoa, dude, that's fame on another level. I'm waiting for you to get that famous to be like, I was Shane's roommate. You want to fuck? And they're like, OK, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'll get canceled before I could get that famous. <laughs> Why would you get canceled? I think that I can be pretty famous, but like I, I don't think I could get super famous because people would be like, hasn't he like. I mean, I, there, it's on people, the record. People I, will listen to our podcast. Yeah, well, no, but also the violence from my life. They're good. That that's not gonna. I no. can't like be a Disney star. Well, Mark Wahlberg's a Disney star. Oh, true. Maybe and he he. You know what? You have on him. You're not racist. True. I've also like apologized <laughs> to the people I've hurt where possible. Look, if Mark Wahlberg can make a comeback, why can't? Why can't you? <laughs> wow, you're actually legitimately making me feel better. Why, why can't you be a Disney star? True, I what forgot is... he did that. He like beat up that guy and blinded him. Dude, he did a lot of shit. things And he things did, remember, Boston. he was like, I was hair high on, on PCP. <laughs> and you're just like, Mark, what? Turned Mark, his life around. Mark Wahlberg did PCP. I never did drugs, though. I will say, so I'm on record hurting some people who later forgave me, and I've talked to them about it, so that's cool. But everyone else I ever hurt was bad. So fuck them, right? That's fine. You can hit another criminal with a sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, you, yeah, whatever. You fuck it, dude. That what, is... am I going to have some like bro from a fraternity be like, him and his friends beat me up because I wouldn't pay the pimp money I owed? <laughs> it's like, yeah, pay the girl. Pay the sex workers you have sex with, dummy. <laughs> Honestly, the, now we're a pro-sex worker nation, so I feel like that's me doing the, the God's work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah are pimps cool now <laughs> i mean technically they weren't really pin like these girls weren't uh doing regular sex where they were like dancing or whatever but yeah that's, that's i'm uh... sure they are touching people's peepees <laughs> <laughs> i mean i wasn't there for it i was there at the end part where they wouldn't pay the girls 
And dude, imagine being a college guy and you pay for like strippers to come to your fraternity house and then you don't pay the strippers what you agreed to and you're thinking, all right, uh, fuck them. They're going to leave. They got most of their money and now these like three 19 year old girls are just going to leave. And then like five so wait did those girls call you or did they call someone who then they called, called their you? they called their guy and then their guy called us because that's <laughs> our job that was our job yeah. is to be violent like we're in you know that's all the only Dude. thing we're good for we don't have any skills that is a skill though <laughs> yeah so being the, a tough being a, a thug is a skill <laughs> they called us and then me my friend anton and a couple other guys would just show up and and be like, you've made it. We were just, they would just be like, what are you up to? And then Anton would just push the door open and walk inside and be like, here's the deal. I'm going to start killing people if you don't give us our money. And the dudes would be super bummed. And then, of course, I'm, we're there. And <laughs> this is a terrible story, but fuck it. I'm I, already, I swear you told it before. I might be. So Anton literally has a gun in his hand and he's like, you guys got to get us this money right now. Or we're going to fucking kill you. Call the police. I'm going to kill you anyway. I might as well. Hey, hey, remember, they ripped off sex workers. <laughs> it's true. So. so they're threatening. So they, we made them all sit down in the living room, threatening them. They're trying to get their money together like a guy is crying because they didn't expect to be in this situation. <laughs> yeah. And then them. during this, I'm going through their DVD collection just stealing dvds i want like this what'd is you tax. get do you remember anything dude i think i got a couple good ones i remember what did i get just some random shit i think i stole like transformers like bad Hell movies yeah. but i'm just taking dvds my one friend is just like just one of you own a laptop <laughs> just straight up robbing them but that's the tax you got to pay your sex workers look they got to pay you now too because you showed up that's if they would have just paid up front, they would have been out whatever they would have been out. Yeah. But now that you're involved, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, the price goes up. Dude, <laughs> a- Anton would just be like, I was playing Modern Warfare 2, and now I have to be here dealing with you motherfuckers. <laughs> he was so crazy. He used to be like, well, who's a ten and a half shoe? Raise your fucking hand. <laughs> and people would raise their hand. I remember at the time just being literally just sitting there with a the balaclava on, just like, dude, don't. Just don't raise your hand. He's not going to measure your feet. People would raise their hand. And he would look at their shoes and be like, those are my shoes now. Give me your shoes. And the dude would be like, what? And he would be like, give me. Your- Did I fucking stutter? Give me your shoes. And he would take their shoes from. That is one of the most powerful street moves is taking someone's shoes. Dude, There's all the nothing time. nothing like more dehumanizing. Before we were like good criminals. With good. When we were just like shitty kids that would just like get in fights and stuff. We would, after you beat someone up, that was always the move. You would take one shoe. <laughs> Not two, just one. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have like all these shoes in our house. Like a weird serial killer. Yeah, so you're going to be the next Mark Wahlberg. True. <laughs> and people will be like, he was bad, but... Uh, here's my thing. I, when I first started comedy, I was so worried. I never really talked about it on stage. And now I realize as I get more popular, because I did hack someone with a sword. And he was a regular oh, okay, guy. but who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> and he did report it. And of course, I... The, the police like couldn't prove it so i got away with it and then later he came he i met up with him and i was like hey i'm really sorry about hitting you with the sword and he was like yeah i got like 300 stitches and my leg was all fucked up but i'm good now i had health insurance and i was just like you he and he also was like i shouldn't have because it was like a whole thing we were at like a big fight and he shouldn't have been there <laughs> And that was wait. my thing. I was a guy with a sword. Wait, you just bought a sword this week. I know. <laughs> I'm back to my old ways. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to keep that in my room? <laughs> no, it's good. If someone comes into our house, they're fucked. And so, anyway, he apologized, and he's been to some of my shows since. And he might even listen to this podcast. He's a very nice guy. Hell yeah. And so, that is the only regular person I ever hurt where I was like, ah, oh, god damn it. I mean, aside from like bar fights, a regular person. Well, because well, everyone getting in fights with people with swords. I don't know, <laughs> dude. Well, he was just like friends with the wrong people and ended up at the wrong place at the wrong time. Wait, I'm friends with you. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> and something back in the day, something very bad could have happened to you just by proxy of being around me. Well, it didn't my good energy? Yeah, you say you're good. <laughs> my aura of 
aloofness. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone else I ever hurt was like fucking, you know, robbing sex workers, dealing drugs, fucking doing whatever other horrible shit. Or if 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 someone who paid me to hurt you, it's not because you're doing something cool. It's yeah, because yeah. you're fucking also a bad guy. So well, that's the thing. I, I'm is not like, worried about it. <laughs> you're not gonna bump into thugs unless you owe money. Yeah. You're not gonna bump into hired goons <laughs> unless you're already messing around borrowing money from people. Exactly. Doing shady shit. Like the criminal world rarely organized crime rarely bumps into yeah normal. They don't want to you don't want to have wanton violence. That's you don't want to draw attention to yourself. Yeah, hey, you want to keep making money and doing exactly, drugs. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so you just, just you know so anyway, I used to be worried about it, like, oh, people are going to hate me. But then I was like, well, if I get popular enough, people are going to find out. So I might as well just be upfront about it, well, yeah. let everyone know, That's... and then fucking when the time comes. The only thing I've been weird about is outing my brother a little bit. <laughs> but my brother works in tech, and everyone seems cool, so. <laughs> just don't. I don't, yeah. well, I don't give specifics <laughs> about what he was up to. Yeah. Just... to his, in his defense, he's always been a bigger sweetheart than me and was up to less crazy shit. I was gonna say the it's basically the Joey Diaz thing when everyone tried <laughs> yeah yeah everyone tried to was it was a couple of months back when everyone started comb I think it was right when Joe Rogan's was like we're moving to Spotify so everyone started combing through yeah. like the first couple hundred uh, episodes to cancel him or whatever so when we get to like episode five hundred people were like what were they talking about in the first one hundred episodes what did and we it's gonna talk be, about? it's gonna be a completely different show forty episodes from now we're gonna have a studio it's gonna be all <laughs> polished we're gonna be very woke <laughs> <laughs> they're just like Shane Shane and Mac declared a fatwa on the Queen <laughs> let's cancel them. Oh, dude. But, no, and so people started combing through, like, the early Joe Rogan episodes, and then I think Joey Diaz talks about, like, when him and this one crackhead girl were both <laughs> just smoking crack, and I should start doing drugs. Yeah, you were so <laughs> drunk last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did I say anything incriminating? About yourself? Yes. No. <laughs> what? You, dude, you came in, so everyone just let you know, <laughs> Mac rarely drinks. It was, like, the first time in months, and I bought this new beer. Because you were asleep, and so I was like, well, I'm not doing anything. I bought a beer, and it looked the cans look crazy, and they don't have the alcohol on them. So I drank two, and I started feeling buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> so Mac is yeah. drunk. So Mac's on the phone when I wake up. I, By the way, I took a nap, and I woke up at night. So uh, my schedule's all fucked up. Yeah, you wake up, and I'm drunk. Yeah, making, I woke Making I, business calls. <laughs> I went to bed, and Mac was normal. I woke up, and he's on the phone, like, yelling and, like, <laughs> laughing and stuff. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> then he comes into my room, smashed as fuck drunk, starts sitting on my bed, tries Wait. to make me drink beer. Wait, at this point, I'm already blacked. Out. yeah you're i will <laughs> Which i don't understand here's what you do i've seen you blacked out several times for whatever <laughs> reason i'm always there when you're the most drunk <laughs> you you seem good for half of the blackout and then in an instant you become a, a, like a mess there's <laughs> and so i'm like is he blackout drunk or is he just normal drunk because you're talking to me but then you were started saying you tried you were just like i just want to Shane, you deserve to be happy. And I was like, oh, he's <laughs> fucking gone, dude. Yeah, I would never, never say. ever would you say that. You were like talking to me about my exes, trying to like therapy me and heal my traumas. <laughs> Shane, you just, you need a woman to treat you well. <laughs> what did you say? You said, oh, you dude, tell me I wasn't there. This is real. I'm going to, you asked for it, so you're going to hear it. You were like, you know how I love people 10 of 10. I love a woman 10 of 10. <laughs> And are, then, wait, are we talking about her looks or how hard I love them? How hard you love oh, them. Okay. You're just talking about how you're a lover and you take care of women and you just are <laughs> such a good partner. And then you go, that's what you need, Shane. You need a girl to love you 10 of 10. You need a girl to love you like I would love you if you were a hot woman. <laughs> and I was just like, thanks, Mac. And he's like, because I can tell that you're all fucked up and you can only love a woman 8 of 10. And I was like, what? Why are you competing with me so you can love a woman more? 
<laughs> so you were like, you can't. This you, is don't, a, you don't have the same love, I guess. So this was your theory that you gave me when you were drunk. You said you, I can only love a woman eight of ten because, and I quote, I'm autistic. <laughs> is what you said. Yeah, that makes sense because I told you that before. <laughs> yes, and then you, and then you said, don't worry, Shane. It doesn't matter. It'll work out with you when you find a woman who loves you like I would love you if you were a woman. And I was like, that's so many words. What is happening? So yeah, that was your thing. Well, that's that's proof that I'm a. I think when you're blackout drunk, that's your true self, <laughs> and so <laughs> that's how good of a person I am. You just wanted to heal. You just uh, wanted just so badly for me to be loved. <laughs> I was like, I want it too, bud. Dude, it could. And be- then you fell asleep on my bed. <laughs> And then you woke up and you're like, I'm too drunk to look at this TikTok. And I was like, that doesn't, that's very drunk. And you handed me your phone and you made me watch a TikTok that wasn't even good. I literally (laughs) think you weren't trying to show me a good TikTok. I think you opened TikTok, realized you were too drunk to operate it and handed it to me. And then you went back to sleep on my bed while I played World of Warcraft. And then uh, you woke up and told me I was a pussy for not playing a paladin. That's true. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying out the different classes. I don't know what I want to play. And you're like, play a paladin is the best class. And then you went to stand up and you were too drunk to walk. So then you fell a little bit into my closet. And I went to help <laughs> you and you were like, I'm good. And you stumbled out and then you were like, I'm going to bed. And I was like, that's probably for the best. And then instead of going to bed, you went and puked for like 45 minutes. But. You've seen me puke before. I've never missed. No, you kill it. It's always clean. That was the thing. (laughs) After you got done puking, I was like, fuck. He... Because it was loud. You were scream puking, dude. Really? Yeah. You were like... You know, you went... You closed the door and turned the light on and I could hear you in there. You were like, ugh. (laughs) <laughs> Ugh, making like about to puke noises and everyone you know normally when someone pukes they're like Ugh. you just went you went Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <gasps> like scream puking into the bowl dude and i was like all right and then uh, i vaguely remember puking i don't remember anything else not when, one m- more like you finished puking you went in your room and i was like the bathroom's gonna be fucking destroyed and i figured you were gonna puke again because i know how being blackout drunk works from being your friend so i've never that's crazy not in my life have i ever missed the no toilet. you didn't i walked into the bathroom <laughs> to, ready to clean so that you wouldn't have to lay in your own puke later and it was perfectly clean in there <laughs> I, like literally perfectly clean like almost like you brushed the bowl i was like what the fuck that was my my puke was so forceful that <laughs> Dude, just straight down and i just remember being like what the fuck because i've had girlfriends who drink and they have gotten blackout drunk on accident and puked and they fucking just walk into the bathroom and then they've made it all the way to the bathroom and then they make a fucking idiot decision and just like puke in the bathtub or some shit and you're like why did you do that you were right there or they puke in the toilet but half in the toilet half onto the wall You'll find your Ariana Grande, dude. Someday, my small barbecue girl. That's all I want. <laughs> all you want is a small. What is it? Bar small barbecue girl. That- that's what it said. Small. I just want small barbecue girl, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you puked so hard though, and then you woke up and you didn't even seem that hungover. Fucking I was champion status, dude. But I felt like hungover, kind of, for the rest of the day, dude. It was wild. You were so dry. I- I literally you were very adamant that I find love. <laughs> I don't. I feel like you roofied me because I don't <laughs> understand how six beers <laughs> like I blacked out. Dude, I also to, I guess I didn't eat anything all yesterday. True. I asked you at one point, I go, are you going to remember this? And you were like, probably. <laughs> and yeah, you did not. I don't. That's. That's why I don't drink, because <laughs> I black out. And <laughs> don't drink that much. Just drink three. I didn't know it was that much. But you, that's what you should. You should err on the side of caution. Just drink two and see how you feel an I'm hour later. I'm probably an alcoholic who only drinks <laughs> like once every six months. Oh, you don't know how to drink. It's okay. Um, if I was, if I drank, I'd be an alcoholic 100%. I would just drink my... I would just get blackout every night. Why wouldn't you? Because, I don't know why you don't. Because I get hang, I, my body hurts when I'm hungover. Yeah, but then you just get blackout drunk again. Now mm. you fix it. I'm, uh, no, <laughs> I'm too much of a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't sustain that. Yeah, it's pretty bad. 
Oh my god! I respect anyone who does, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> if you, if I've you, known people. Look, if you can do what I do when I'm blackout, be nice and not miss the toilet and blackout every night. Keep doing you. You'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll die at the age of fifty, and you'll be a hero to all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you <laughs> die at the age of fifty? Did you send any DMs when you're drunk? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I haven't received any calls or anything, so that you know of. I think I was just talking to you. I don't send. I mean, obviously, I don't get drunk or anything. But sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll like DM someone back, and I'll wake up in the morning and be like, "Oh fuck, that was bad." <laughs> <laughs> I'll like say something, dude. For some reason, I have coom brain when I wake up in the middle of the night. Uh, it's like if a girl messages me or something, I'm like, "Yeah, what's up?" <laughs> and then I like wake up in the morning and I like have to block them. I'm like, "Oh god," I'm trying to. Like, I think that's why I am like, okay, if I keep drinking, I'll be too drunk to operate my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you were. I'm too drunk to use TikTok, he said, as you handed me your phone. Like, what do you want me to operate it? <laughs> I'm too drunk for this TikTok. I do, like, uh, people will message me and I'll just forget about it if it's the first thing I see in the morning. Oh, yeah, I do that so, all the time. But I'm not like you where I respond immediately. Well, that's here's the thing. I don't respond in the morning. I usually open it and I'm like, oh, fuck. Or I try not to open them in the morning now that I know that I'm too tired. But if I wake up in the middle of the... You know when you wake up to pee in the middle of the night and you almost don't remember it? I'll like respond to messages in that window sometimes and it's never good. You should turn off your I phone. I really should. <laughs> I Well, why am I carrying my phone to the bathroom? I don't even want to do this. I want to just go pee. Well, I, I don't understand. Like, I'm out of it. I'm there zombie go. walking. But here's the thing. I was going to say, if you're a lady trying to slide into Shane's DMs, DM him while he's asleep. 7 a.m. But <laughs> <laughs> you don't know when he's asleep. You just time, your schedule changes every other day. It really does. I have such an unhealthy sleep schedule. Did yeah. I run today? I, I did. Remember. Yeah. All right, everyone. Uh you could fo- you could DM me by following me on social media. I think you should start a beef with a lady comic. It'll be progressive. What what, what comic? I don't know. We'll think about it. <laughs> okay. Hey so- everyone, if you know a lady comic you want me to beef with, email <laughs> Cowboy Boys Podcast. Is that the one? Yes. Okay. Cowboy Boys Podcast. I don't want to give our business email out like I have before. Yeah. And then we've got tits in the business email. Oh Cow- wait, we did get a we got an email. Oh well, what what was it? Uh, someone said that. It was a lady. She said her and her husband love to listen to our podcast while they have sex. Oh, my God. And then uh, her husband likes to take the butt plug and shove it up his own ass and jack off while I guess we're playing. And he sent us they sent us two pictures of uh, his butt, their butt plug in his ass. Oh, it's two f- separate photos of, of just, just him. Just him with a butt plug in his ass. Dude, good. What a king, so, dude. Living th- his life. Thanks for the photos. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I think, I think he pulls it out of her and puts it into him. Dude, that's probably healthy, right? Because you get your, that bio, the diversified mm. biome. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that, they take poop from other people and put it in your butt. Dude, it's crazy because they'll like take poop from someone who has like low r- blood pressure yeah. and put it into someone with high but blood pressure and they'll like you'll absorb the low br- blood pressure like why can't i say those words if you got like i need to get someone's poop a poop transplant I need that's someone, a real thing google it i need no it is a real thing and i need someone who's like really articulate and <laughs> can talk well a doctor <laughs> and so they need to put their poop inside my butt <laughs> <laughs> So I could become smarter. A smart guy. That's our dumb guy plan of a smart guy put poop in our butts. Just let me have a little bit of your poop. <laughs> oh damn, dude! So listen, if you have an IQ over one thirty, hit us up. <laughs> Look, and if you got bad cavities, my guy, I got great. I have zero cavities, so you can have a little bit of my poo. <laughs> oh, that's what you bring to the table. A, we'll, we'll make an exchange. <laughs> I bring. I don't know what I bring to the table. But I would like some of your poop. <laughs> so more of a charity case than Mac, really. Just sharing butt plugs. It's <laughs> like a medical. <laughs> no, it's a, I'm not gay. It's a medical Dude, butt plug. It's not. I'm, I'm complete... From a boy. <laughs> so thank you for that email. <laughs> Breaking new ground on in our email. Dude, good for him. Also, a little jealous that they're having sex listening to our podcast when neither of us are even having sex. <laughs> <laughs> not even with each other. Just in general. I've, damn it's crazy that people like i guess people like music when they fuck good for, if that's your style that's whatever but 
I I I like uh I'm I'm a fucking the silence kind of guy. I like I just either. fuck when I fuck. It doesn't but, sometimes TV's on, sometimes video games are no, on. I was gonna say TV sometimes on, it, it but podcast is wild. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Do you think they're paying to, attention? Just listening to someone fucking right now of us talking about poop transplants. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine someone getting ready to nut and both of us are like, we can get smarter <laughs> if we steal a smart person's poop. <laughs> Do you know how they do it? They give, they like freeze the pill. They they put the poo, they dry it out, I think, and they like freeze it so it doesn't smell. And then they push it into you, and it no, falls I think in your you, butt? I think you eat it. No, yeah, and that's why they gotta freeze it. And it no. takes. It, it takes I don't. I won't eat it. You gotta. I'm. <laughs> you take a poo suppository. Yeah, you gotta poo in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta poo inside my ass. <laughs> It's fuck, dude. It's too much. I wonder what could transfer. Like, if a really buff guy, do you think he get his buff guy powers? I read some. St- <laughs> maybe I read some story about a guy who went to Africa in order to get some kind of of resistance to a disease, and he walked in poop. Like he That's just how you get ringworms, and then it actually did work. It was like a medical thing. Oh fuck. Anyway, Google guy walks in poop to heal himself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to have to get through some pretty bad stuff, but you may find the article I'm talking about. I feel like it's real. Someone's going to message me on Instagram and be like, you were right, Shane, and that will be validating. <laughs> was he trying to immunize himself against yes. ringworm? No. Was that was, it? Just... No, it was something else. I can't remember. I think he was trying to like make himself not allergic to something or i i fucking don't know but it worked all right well he claimed it worked also i'm reading an article about a guy who flew to africa to walk in shit so <laughs> yeah what is it about their shit uh, well this particular tribe had like a diet that was heavy in something that he needed and he was like a doctor a poop doctor why didn't he just eat what they ate it's <sighs> a pretty good question <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know man because walking in poop is easier I would just hang out with them for a while. <laughs> he didn't want to make friends. I would rather walk in shit than make friends. Yeah, I'm going to step in some shit and like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. He had one day. Uh, that's... He's on a budget. All right. Oh, man. I'm so sad that I can't travel. I uh, like did all this work to save so that I could travel on coronavirus. I want to go to Africa and walk in poop. Buy a VR headset and <laughs> go, go virtually walk yeah. in poop. It's a, It's the same thing. All right. So, anyways, if you have any, any crazy photos or stuff, email us. Yeah, Cowboy boys. What at... do you think if you f- if someone smart farts into your butt, you'll get smarter, but just for a little bit, just a uh, one hitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> you know, like the drug in the Judge Dread movie. <laughs> like you just inhale it for a minute and get smarter. All right. Anyway, um, fucking follow us on social media. <laughs> Uh, rate us on iTunes. Have you checked those in a while? Yeah, there's a lot of nice comments. I don't share the nice ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys are the, so nice. I share the really funny and really mean ones. Just so you guys know, I had a weird week, so I'm actually going to go read the nice reviews after we get done, and it's going to make me happy. So I appreciate everyone who left good reviews. Uh, I read them, and I like them. Yeah, what else? Shane likes the positivity. I like when you're crazy animals. <laughs> <laughs> I like both, but I do like the positivity. So, sometimes I need it. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, Patreon.com slash cowboy boys yeah yeah we do an extra episode there yeah it's pretty good so you should go check that out uh all right i have nothing else to say all right thanks for listening all right hit us up if you have poop for us yeehaw yeehaw